Tattoo Artists of Reddit, what is the most fucked up thing you've tattooed? Guy wanted the thumbs up emoji on his taint. Apparently he wanted everyone down there to know he appreciates a job well done. I passed him off to a male colleague, who did not stop giggling the entire half an hour session. But as most artists on here have said, we get ridiculous requests all the time, but they either don't show up, or we have to ask them to leave. Nothing super weird and usually things I didn't feel comfortable putting on people, I would turn away. But I had a co-worker who would scoop them up and do the tattoo for them. One was a girl who had just turned 18. She wanted a chain around her waist with a lock hanging on it just above her vagina and the words property of Dave or whatever the fuck her boyfriend's name was. First off, she was 18 so I figured the relationship probably wasn't going to last so I wouldn't do it for that reason. Then come to find out, her boyfriend had just been sentenced to life in prison for murder. The girl was making a terrible emotional mistake. I refused but my co-worker to do the tattoo. I've seen some weird slash fucked up tattoos by a work, hospital. All of this stuff is years ago and I couldn't even place a face with any of these people. Also scattered about the USA as I did a fair amount of travel work. Saw a guy with a genie coming out of his butthole up to the small of his back, peeking out over the seat of his pants I imagine. Saw another guy, sweet looking grandfatherly type, who had what looked like a home done. Prison tattoo on his penis that said suck it. Saw a woman with the Rolling Stones lips tongue thing inside of her armpit. Must have hurt like hell. Saw a guy with an eight ball on his dickhead. He said it was a thing from his days in the Marines. Apparently there's a tattoo place near Camp Lyon that will give you free tattoos for life if you get an eight ball on your dickhead. This guy definitely cashed in on that. Tons of great work. We had a guy come in and got his kids' names. He had them written on a piece of paper. The boy's name read Connor. I told him that it's spelled Connor and he was adamant that his spelling was correct. We asked him to check with his wife and he acted like we were idiots to insist that he might not know how to spell his own son's name. We finally agreed to do it and just assumed they had gone with the weird spelling. He came back the next day with his wife who was pissed that we spelled it wrong. But we had stapled his handwritten names to his paperwork and his wife's anger completely redirected to him once she saw it. I just started tattooing, so I was taking any kind of walk and I could get. This guy would come in every few weeks and get his girlfriend's name tattooed on him. The same name, all different ways, in a diamond, attached to an infinity symbol with a ladybug. One day he came in with her and I was surprised because I never seen her and always wanted to know who this muse of shitty name tattoos was. She seemed pissed off and unapproachable. The guy was in high spirits though. I skipped the small talk with her. Did the tattoo, let them leave. He came in a few weeks later, alone. I finally asked him why all the name tattoos. He told me he would tattoo her name on himself every time he cheated on her and she found out. He then asked me if I would like to go to dinner after his tattoo. That was our last interaction. I had a gentleman come in when I'd only been tattooing for about three years. I was in the middle of a tattoo and somewhat, understandably, distracted. The fella pulls out his knob and shows me a poorly done star on the head. He wants it fixed and wants me to add another star and a crescent moon added. If you're asking yourself why, you're not alone. He told his wife he'd give her the moon and stars. He made an appointment for the following day. A few hours after we'd opened, I remember feeling like I was waiting for my execution. Then I came to the realization that it was his dick about to get stabbed. Not mine. And I got over it when he showed up. I gave them a set of gloves and told them he was gonna be helping stretch the skin. He was a good sport about it and all went well and fine. Till he told me they were swingers and invited me over to their home to drink crown and bang his wife. I politely declined. Which is probably why she got the only tip out of the deal. Almost two decades ago and I still remember it vividly. This young man wanted a tattoo on his back. It said something like, Lisa please forgive me. I told asked him if this was some last ditch effort to get this girl back. He said yes, and I told him this is a really bad idea you shouldn't do this. He wanted the tattoo anyway, 
So he got it, if it worked out with him and the girl she will always remember this terrible thing he did that was so bad he had to go get a tattoo to try and prove how wrong he was, or if it didn't work out with them, whoever he dated afterwards would ask him what terrible thing he did that was so bad he had to go get a tattoo to try fix things with his ex. It seemed like an a win scenario with that tattoo. My advice is... If your tattoo artist is telling you that something isn't a good idea to get, just take a moment and consider why. A guy I work with had a failed pregnancy, stillborn, so he was mourning. I have very high quality work on my arms that is very visible, so he asks me who and how much. I tried explaining that with portrait work. You get what you pay for. He calls gets a price and then confronts me on the number like we were in cahoots. I reminded him that you don't cheap on portrait work, and he told me he knows a guy who knows a gay. One last time I said don't, but he fully believed I was in on scamming him. He goes to guy of the guy and when he returns I ask if I can see how it turned out. He pulls up his shirt and starts to cry. He has what anyone can see is the worst tattoo of his dead baby on his chest. Just crying he said I just wanted to remember him. Just tragic. TL semicolon drive. Don't cheap out on dead baby portraits. The tattoo was supposed to say. Georgia born, Alabama bred. Instead it says, Alabama breed. The girl was proudly showing me her tat. I read it and asked, what's it say? She looked at me dumb and reads it off. I said, um I thought bread had only one E. I think your tat says breed. She laughs and says, number. The artist had drawn the design and when, I, looked at it the artist had written bread like a loaf of bread. I'm so glad I caught that. Can you imagine if I had bread on my arm? Ha ha ha, a mod girl, that might actually be better than breed. At least bread and bread are pronounced the same. Been tattooing nearly 20 years and honestly most everything has been pretty tame. I've had a few very weird quote requests but they never actually follow up on scheduling. Or I just outright decline the piece. The weirdest tattoo I think I've ever actually done was a portrait of a stillborn baby. I totally get the sentiment and I've done countless memorials for stillborn babies, so that in and of itself is not weird. But the photo I was working from in this case was... Not a nice one. You know how they put little hats and clothes on a stillborn baby to take a photo for the parents? They'd done that here as well but I think the baby had butterfly syndrome or something as the poor thing's skin was peeling away. I asked as gently as I could if he wanted the photo cleaned up for the tattoo I don't have to tattoo all those wounds, you know. But he wanted it just as is. I respect that. People heal trauma in many ways. I did the tattoo as requested. He loved it. I did not take a photo for my portfolio. And since I know you'll ask, a couple of strange quote requests. These people did not get the tattoo, to be clear, just asked for a price. A photo of herself as a little girl, but wanted me to add blood all over her and dripping from her husband and wife wanted to come in together, and have me tattoo a photo of themselves engaged in BDSM. I assumed they wanted a threesome afterwards, too, it was heavily implied in the email. Human trafficking tattoos, usually an older man trying to schedule for his much younger girlfriend to get a random name or word done near the pubic area. A couple requests for sclera tattoos, recoloring the whites of the eyes, Google if you dare. I used to work for an anti-human trafficking non-profit and traffickers tattooing their victims is super common. It can be their name, a dollar sign, a money bag, or even a barcode. If you see something like that happen you can call the National Human Trafficking Hotline and report it anonymously. Apologize for the formatting, on my phone. I was an apprentice in a studio that seemed to attract the weirdest people ever. Dude comes in carrying a baby. Couldn't have been more than 9 months old in demands we tattoo his full name on the child. Obviously we said no, and he went on a huge, emotional rant about how she's trying to say that child's not mine. I want to make sure she never forgets who he is. We had to threaten him with police to get him to leave, because he wasn't listening when we told him number. We did call the guardie over it. His name was very common so they couldn't do much. The worst that actually got tattooed was literally Hitler with cat eyes. 
the SS logo on a banner above it, and the words, you're a FT. That was a guest artist in the studio. The owner told him there was no way in hell that he would let him tattoo that under his studio's name. The artist went on a rant about how Stalin and Mussolini were worse and we'd probably let him tattoo that. I told him that Tate Modern would likely love the piece if it was on canvas or something, but as a tattoo he was asking for his client to get beaten up. The owner stood his ground, and last I heard. The tattoo was done off the premises, hope it was worth it, edgy lord. The weirdest was the guy who wanted a brown star outline tattooed on his elbow, because, my ma says I can't tell my ass from my elbow. Once it was healed, apparently people didn't get the joke, so he came back with printed photos from a disposable camera of his own butthole and he wanted that tattooed in the middle of the brown star. His girlfriend also got a tattoo of Trisha Takanawa humping David Bowie's leg, family guy, so it was a really weird studio in general. And no, I don't tattoo anymore. I developed a physical disability and can't do tattooing. Not an artist myself. But the one I use has told me several stories. The lady that wanted cherries tattooed above her vagina. He said no, he doesn't do in delicate areas. The guy that wanted a chain, which would have been around his chest and collarbone. The artist kept trying to convince him this was a bad idea, that it was going to hurt like hell when he go to the collarbone. Guy was real muscular, and swore he wouldn't feel it. Okay. Artist draws up two different pieces, one that looks like what guy wants, second is a piece that has the chains look like they come out of the skin, somewhere where the pain is going to start. Artist starts on the chest, then works his way up to the collarbone. When he gets there, of course guy is crying like a baby. Artist says, I have an idea, why don't I do this instead? Guy has to go through a little more pain, but gets the second tattoo idea not knowing it was the plan all along. The guy that would come in every so often, wanting the Playboy bunnies tattooed on his cheeks. Artist won't do face tattoos, so kept telling him number. One day, guy comes in, wanting something else, so artist goes in the back to get some artwork. When he comes back, guy is walking around, eating KFC, getting it all over the carpet, walking on it. Artist says, you know what, I'll do the bunnies after all. That guy now has those bunnies on his cheeks. An artist now calls him Chicken Boy. Last was the guy that wanted his girlfriend's name tattooed on him. Artist doesn't like doing names, but is convinced to do it. While he's working, guy is on the phone with the girlfriend, crying. Artist doesn't understand why he's crying so much. It can't hurt that much. Then he starts paying attention to the conversation. The girlfriend has already dumped him and Guy thought the tattoo would convince her to take him back. Haha, <laughs> that was a fun ride. I'm not surprised about the last one though. A guy in my high school once cut a huge K on his arm with a blade to convince his ex to take him back. She declined, started crying, and told him to stop. He proceeded to cut out her entire name. Luckily someone called the teachers and they made him stop. Guy was seriously fucked up. By far the most insane tattoo I've ever seen was at a swingers club in LA. This guy has a giant tattoo to make it look like a plushy stuffed animal of Tigger was sitting on his lap with his groin and Tigger's lined up perfectly. Then he had his impressively long schlong completely in, in alternating orange and black horizontal bands like it was his tail. To top it his cock head was tattooed white. Honestly it was a work of art and one of the classiest Disney tattoos I've ever seen. My words are not serving it proper justice. I was getting tattoo removal a few years back and I asked the owner what the worst tattoo he removed was. It was an old bloke that wanted to go on a cruise ship with his missus but she wouldn't let him until he removed the tattoos on both his feet. He had fuck, fuck. Fuck written dozens of times on each foot in his younger years he got drunk and thought it was a good idea to let his mate practice with his new tattoo gun. I'm not an artist, but several years ago I was waiting in a shop in my hometown to do a consultation for a tribute to my late stepdad, and there was a woman doing a consultation with my artist right before me. This lady wanted to have Jeff Slut tattooed on her lower back. Apparently she'd been dating Jeff for like three months. 
The artist declined to create her masterpiece, she was visibly upset about it, which let me know that I was in good hands. I was at a concert years ago in Philly when this guy showed up with a tattoo of a woman that had some very poorly executed features, a godly crooked nose, teeth out of alignment, etc. My buddy says to me if some tattoo guy screwed up a picture of my girlfriend that badly I'd kick his ass. Well about 10 minutes later this young lady shows up and damn if she didn't look just like the tattoo. Edit. Thank you to all the kind Redditors showing me the love for this posting. I'm glad I was able to bring a bit of humor to people's day. Preface, not tattoo artist sorry. A friend I rented with for a while was really big into tattoos. Got a couple of sleeves over the years and due to this he always had tattoo magazines on the coffee table. These mags almost always had a couple of back pages of crap tattoos and one became infamous in that house. The guy in the photo was given the nickname of, friend's name as cousin and the picture was cut out and up on the fridge for ages. The pic was a full frontal noodle of an older dude with a full sized dwarven warrior tattoo that was done from this guy's knees to I guess the middle of his chest. The piece the resistance of this giant tattoo was the guy's junk was lined up correctly with the tattoo. Battle axe, big beard and everything, really detailed to it was epic. Not a tattoo artist but a piercer. I had a pretty standard practice of asking for ID before I did any consultation of minors. A lot of older siblings or whoever trying to pass as parent. Guy came in acting pretty weird not awkward at all just got that creep vibe. Took his and the girl's ID and gave him the forms to fill out while I took a copy. He came to get his 16 years dot oh. Daughter's nipples pierced. And wanted to watch dot 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 promptly turned him down. Gave CPS a call right after they left. In hindsight that very well could have been human trafficking, but same names on the eye. Decent about the right age gap to be her parents so I've got no idea. Obligatory not a tattoo artist. I was at a concert once when a man approached me and my friends and asked, You guys wanna see a tattoo of a woman giving birth to an alien? He lifted his shirt to reveal a full frontal view of a woman squatting and a xenomorph crawling its way out of her vagina. Then he turned and displayed the reverse angle of the scene tattooed on the other side of his torso. Then he said some racist shit and we walked away. Was at a bar once and there was a competition for the best tattoo. Free drinks to the winner, so this one guy drops his pants and shows the bar a tattoo of Elmer Fodd with rifle and hand on his ass cheek saying come out wobbit. The bar cracks up laughing but then the guy pulls open his butt cheek and there is another tattoo of Bugs Bunny climbing out of his asshole. The place erupted, I don't think he bought another drink for the night. When I was about 20 yo I made a bet with the singer in my metal band that he couldn't shave his beard for a year and if he made it the year one would get property of, name redacted, tattooed on my ass cheek. He made it about 3 months and then had to shave because he was basically a young Gandalf, so he has property of Zyphd tattooed on his left ass cheek, edited some grammar. Okay not a tattoo artist, but I was with a friend getting some regrettable ink laser removed. The tattoo artist was also the removal guy, so he's halfway into his session and there's a pounding on the door and a bust in a meth head totally tweaking out, saying he needs ink and needs it right now. The laser, tattoo guy seems to know this guy, and says what'll it be this time spider? To which spider responds, I want tough shit on my knuckles. Tattoo artist does the math and says that's too many letters to which spider replies new and spells out T-U-F-F-S-H-I-T, which he legitimately believed was the correct spelling. The tattoo artist asks my friend if he minds waiting 10 minutes because spider was relentless when he wanted ink and my friend and I both said sure because we wanted to watch some poor life decisions. Spider was very pleased and we told him he looked like tough shit. No, an artist but, many years ago, I had an exact chef that was the most tattooed man in town, member of a local Mexican biker club, looked like a Mexican biker, nicest guy, though, he had many, many tattoos, but his most extreme was a picture of a nun, in bondage gear, kneeling before a cross with menstrual blood gushing out from between her legs, 
She also had a pentagram carved onto her back. Dot, 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 except for one line. His tattoo artist refused to complete the pentacle that was his limit. Bloody menstrual bondage none was fine, but a pentagram was too far. As is so common. Not an artist but I've done a little time. The one that really sticks in my memory is a dude, who I ate or ended up watching on Suicide Watch for a couple weeks after he smoked aquarium cleaner, who has, had killed yo self inked, in rainbow letters, from side to side and chin to collar bones on his neck, Ricky, if you're in the free world these days. Ah who am I kidding, he's still in. It was early in my career, had a lady come in and wanted a crack added to an already existing heart tattoo she had on her chest. I asked her why she wanted the break in the heart, she lost her husband when the towers fell September 11, 2001, I tattooed her on the 14th, I didn't charge her, expressed my sympathies, closed the door to my room and cried for an hour straight. I have thought about her every September for the last 20 years, so yeah, fucked up. 